People have been sailing the Great Lakes for centuries, and boats have changed a lot in that time. But one island community in our region is trying to preserve some of the old ways of boat building. Every year on one Saturday in August, more than 7,000 visitors descend on the small community of Hessel, Michigan to celebrate the unique craftsmanship of antique wooden boats. Hessel is in the Lake Chino Islands on the northern shore of Lake Huron in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. The 36 islands are home to some of the most beautiful wooden boats anywhere in the world. Their history in these islands dates back to the early 1900s when summer residents came to the area on steamships. The steamers would come from Detroit and from Chicago up here and our, we had seven hotels that were all on the lake shore, old wooden hotels. The Lachino Islands became home to boat builders like Chris Craft, a name synonymous with antique wooden boats. In fact, the first Chris Craft boat dealership in the country was opened in Hessel, Michigan in 1926. So they would use these Chris Crafts or use these antique and classic boats to get to the mainland daily to go grocery shopping. That was their mode of transportation. As the years passed, fewer wooden boats were being manufactured and fiberglass boats became the more popular choice. But residents in the Le Chineau communities of Hessel and nearby Cedarville were determined to find a way to preserve the rich tradition of wooden boat building. Bob Smith was part of the group. We talked about the older craftsmen retiring and there weren't new generations to take their place. Well, with the history of the boat building and Les Chineaux in general, we didn't want to lose that craftsmanship. So the community decided to build a school to teach the art of wooden boat building. The Great Lakes Boat Building School opened its doors in 2005 and has trained more than 200 students who have gone on to successful careers in the marine industry. Hi Ken, this is Nikki Cole from Great Lakes Boat Building School, how are you? Nikki Story is the school's president. We offer two programs. We have our comprehensive career wood boat building program, which is the foundation of the school and has been here in, in place for 16 years. It's evolved and changed over time. And then we also have our marine service technology program, which actually has an exclusive partnership with the marine manufacturer, Mercury Marine. So that's a really neat thing about our programs as well. Each program is 12 months long and has between 12 and 24 students. Most are between the ages of 18 and 45, and most are from the Midwest. Sometimes we pick up students from the East Coast or the West Coast, um, but the majority come right here uh, from either Michigan or Wisconsin, Ohio, New York. We pull students from there too. In addition, we every year we seem to pull in a student from overseas. We've had a student from France, the Bahamas, uh, Australia, so it just adds a lot to the diversity of the groups here. That come down at all there, Brennan? Matt Edmondson was a student at the school before becoming the lead instructor. Truthfully, because that stuff's waterproof, it's okay if paint doesn't stick to the actual seam. We focus on traditional boat building in the first portion of the year, which is focusing on um, holding pieces of wood together with mechanical fasteners like rivets and bolts and screws. And then we kind of shift into using the modern materials like epoxy and fiberglass and how do we kind of marry that with wood to make a modern version of a wooden boat, which we would call wood composite. Cedar strip or a laminated boat would be an example of that. And then we move into restoration. I would say that in the wooden boat world, restoration and repair and maintenance is probably the lion's share of wooden boating um, as we see it today. A lot of boats to take care of and repair. I would say it draws a lot of interest from the general public because, you know, it's like old cars or old airplanes or whatever, you know, it's cool, it's a piece of our history. Mike Latch is a student from Michigan. We learned how to plan out the boat, figure out what needs to go where, proper measurements, how to align everything properly so that way you get a really nice shear line on the boats. So if you look at this boat, the way that it rolls as it goes back, learning things like that. Mike has been working to bring new life to a unique wooden utility boat. This is a 1950s Lyman. It was donated to the school a few years ago, and I've spent the last four months restoring it. Currently, right now, I am sanding it to put the finish coat on the varnished parts of it. 
Um, before, I was replacing the planks and the frames and the ribs and the bulkhead and the transom had to be replaced. Uh, most of it was pretty rotted. It hadn't been taken care of over the last several decades. And so we restored it. Mike has interviews scheduled with several Michigan Marine companies and is even considering working on tall ships in the future. I'm 95% tactile learner, so I need to work with my hands. And being in an industry where I can work with my hands constantly is exactly what I need. I love doing it every day. Will Berryhill came to the school from Indiana. His class recently finished building a boat called a skiff. It needed a floor to be put in, you know, like the seats, the deck, the bulkheads, putting the motor on it, all that stuff still had to be done. So our class took care of that. It was just beautiful when we pulled it out of the finishing room, first time in the sunshine, with that you know, final coat of varnish on there, we just looked at it like, whoa. Yeah, we did this. After finishing the boat building curriculum, Will went on to the Marine Service Technology Program working on engines. Okay, hit it. Will says he plans to stay in the Les Chenot Islands and work at one of the boat shops in the area when he graduates. He shouldn't have a problem finding employment. The school has a 100% placement rate and some potential employers have even offered scholarships and sponsorships to students. All of our students have offers and actually really great offers. Students going to Wisconsin, students going to Texas, many staying right here in Michigan. It's a thriving industry and an industry that is just desperate for employees. We're seeing a peak right now in the marine industry where there's a huge demand for boats and having worked on on boats, but there's a huge skills gap as we see with a lot of other trades as well. So really students can write their own ticket right now. They can go pretty much wherever they want. Wherever these students go, the lessons of the Lachinos and the Great Lakes Boat Building School will hopefully keep the beauty of these wooden boats alive for future generations to enjoy. It's kind of calling back to a bygone era where things were made a lot more by hand, but then there's also just the, the boat itself it is a beautiful thing to be able to make something, see it on the water, not be sinking, and then to go places in it. There's a unlimited freedom to being on the water. At Great Lakes Now, we aim to cover the Great Lakes region and the people who live here, like you. Please follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and sign up for our newsletter at greatlakesnow.org.